All right. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this special webinar today. We are so excited at Woofies here to roll out our new Pampered Puppy program. Um, this is a very special program that we want to get off the ground because a lot of our clients have been asking uh, for something specifically tailored for puppies. It is puppy season. Um, we do have a lot of new puppies coming in uh, to the Woofies family. So we wanted to tailor make a special program and a special package just for this time. Um, so with that, I wanted to kind of roll out to you uh, or talk to you a little bit about what that program is. So Woofie's Pamper Puppy Package includes, uh, first of all, a 30 minute either in-home or virtual consultation with a Woofie's Puppy Specialist that will either be with you virtually or um, can do an in-home consult um, with you to learn more about your puppy, what your puppy's needs are, um, and really kind of give you some advice and tips um, on how to get your puppy ready for his or her first groom. Um, so that's part of it. We also give you some helpful information in the form of a handout, um, a really well put together handout, tips and uh, techniques to get your puppy introduced to the grooming table, to being brushed, um, giving you some at-home grooming techniques, um, things to make your puppy a little bit more comfortable before he or she gets ready to go to the mobile pet spa and be with a real groomer. Um, and with that flyer, we're also going to be giving a video, um, an informational video to you so that you'll have, you know, that video tutorial when it comes to putting, um, getting your puppy ready for this experience. Um, in addition to that, we also are very excited that Ellen Zangla has, uh, Pet Photography has partnered with us. She is offering um, a free 8x10 photo of your puppy um, when you book a puppy session or watch me grow plan. Ellen will be with us a little bit later to tell you a little bit more about those two plans. Um, in addition, we have another partner, Phil Lassiter of Respect on Both Ends is going to be giving a 10% discount on puppy training services. And again, he's offering either in-person or virtual um, puppy training. So either your choice. Not only those things, but you get a spotlight on the Woofies Facebook page for your puppy's first groom. So um, something really cool that you can share with your family and friends. Um, we'll take pictures of your puppy getting their first groom. And everyone loves puppies, of course, so that will be a very popular post. Um, you get a $10 off uh, gift certificate for a luxury bath, mini groom, or full groom service until your puppy is six months old. One free curbside nail trim um, at Woofie's Ashburn. And then also a slicker brush for at-home brushing and a Woofie's dog food scoop. Um, in addition to that, there will be a second follow-up appointment with the Woofie's puppy specialist to see how things are going. Um, and just to follow up with you to make sure you and your puppy are comfortable. So um, that's our new Pampered Puppy Package. All of those items, if you can believe it, is only $70. So $70 gets you all of those great free you know, items, including the slicker brush, the dog food scoop, the uh, coupon for the luxury bath, and then um, the access to Ellen Zangla's um, Watch Me Grow plan or puppy session with the free 8x10. Uh, Phil Lasseter, all those great things. So with that, um, I do want to introduce uh, Jackie Sofall, who is our Woofie's Leesburg groomer, very experienced groomer. She is joined on the table today. Um, let me get this right. This is Roxy. She's a mini Bernadoodle who is about 16 weeks old. So you can see that little bundle of energy right now. She's so super cute. Um, and then we have another puppy, that's going to come into the picture a little bit later, Pablo, Mr. Pablo, who's a golden doodle, almost about six months old. So with that, um, Jackie, I'd like to kind of throw it over to you to get started and talk about um, kind of getting puppy ready for his or her first groom and what you need to do to, to get that started. Okay, great. So nice to be here with Roxy. We've been teaching her a little bit about grooming. And Pablo too has been getting some lessons and he's a little bit more experienced than Roxy. So we'll put him on the table in a few minutes. The best thing to do when you get your puppy is to start right away 
I've been grooming for a really long time and the biggest challenge with working with a puppy is getting them when they haven't had any lessons at home. So it's really, really helpful. It helps build your relationship with your puppy and they learn that the grooming of whatever it is is really going to be a fun time. So the first thing you want to do is decide where you're going to teach your puppy. And the best thing to do is to have the puppy up on a table or a countertop or the washer and dryer and use an old yoga mat or a bath mat so that the puppy is not slipping. If you have a big puppy like Pablo and don't have a surface, you might want to find a space that's just for training, such as your bathroom or laundry room, and then you can get started. The brush you want to have is the one that we're going to give you with the puppy packet, and it's the best one, and you want to introduce the puppy by showing the puppy the brush, and we start out by always giving the puppy a treat, and the best treat that we're going to use for the puppy is cream cheese, and it's not even hardly anything on my finger, but she knows, and Pablo knows, that when they see the finger with cream cheese, it means we're gonna have a lesson, and you only use the cream cheese or peanut butter for lessons. So I'm gonna introduce this little puppy, Roxy, to the brush, and right now, I'm gonna teach her that when I hold her paw, she has to let me, and she's letting me right now, so I'm gonna give her cream cheese really quick. Now, if Roxy decides that she doesn't like this anymore, and she takes her paw away, or she fights with me, I'm just gonna drop the paw and not say or do anything. And then we're gonna try again. I'm gonna hold her paw. And if she lets me hold it, I'm gonna treat her with some cream cheese so she knows it's really, really a happy time. And then I'm gonna try brushing her leg and teaching her that brushing is okay. And she's not really giving me a hard time, so I'm gonna give her some quick cream cheese. And that's always a happy thing. So that's the beginning of teaching the puppy all about brushing. So that's the first thing. The next thing you want to do after the puppy is a really pro at being brushed and understands that brushing is a good thing, you want to keep the lessons really, really short, not more than a few seconds at a time, and then put the puppy back on the floor for a break or wait for a couple hours and start again. The next thing we want to do is teach the puppy that we're going to hold the puppy's face. All of these puppies with faces, like Pablo here, he's used to his face being held. I'm going to hold his face and treat him really quickly with cream cheese because he's letting me do it. And then he's going to let me do it again, so I'm going to give him some quick cream cheese. The reason that groomers have to hold their faces is because, like Pablo and Roxy here, they have a lot of hair in their eyes that we have to eventually take out. And I'm going to hold Roxy's face, and she's probably not going to like it too much, but she's not giving me a hard time, except that time she did, so I'm not going to give her cream cheese. Instead, Pablo's taking it from behind my back. So now I'm going to take a hold of her face again, and I'm going to give her cream cheese really quick because she doesn't like that. It's something new for her. And she's pretty young. It's, they don't understand why we're grabbing their little faces. I'm going to try again. And I'm going to give her some cream cheese really quick. And the next thing, once puppy has gotten used to you holding her face and it's okay, then we're going to look at her teeth and see how she likes that. Because when you puppies start getting groomed and we start brushing their teeth, they're going to fuss a little bit to have their mouths opened up. So I'm going to use the cream cheese and just take her mouth up a little bit. And she knows it's okay because I'm having my mouth, my hand all over her mouth. And I'm gonna constantly be treating her with a teeny tiny bit of cream cheese. And then I'm gonna look in her ears. She's not gonna let me look in her ears, but I'm gonna put my finger in her ear and kind of just rub a little bit while I'm giving her cream cheese. And she just loves this cream cheese. The reason that we have to have them used to their ears, our fingers in their ears, is because some puppies and dogs grow hair in their ears and also get a little bit of dust in there or ear goobies or wax in there. And when we groom them, we clean their ears out. So it's good to just play with their ears a little bit, just, just kind of massaging them. Along with that same idea is getting the puppy used to you handling their toenails. We don't want to play with their feet. We just want to take their foot real gently. And I'm, I'm using my finger to 
massage her toenails while she's waiting for the cream cheese. So she's already figured out she's getting cream cheese if she lets me do something. So that's a good thing. And when she takes her foot away, we don't push it. We just let her, we let her be. She's been, been working at this for a little while. So she's becoming a pro. So I'm gonna do that again. And I'm gonna take her foot and massage her toenails. And that way she knows it's all okay that I'm taking a hold. And then when she gets ready to have her toenails cooked, she won't be worried about the groomer taking a hold of her feet. And all of that is about everything. Oh, now we need to make noise. So puppies are never used to the, to the clipper noise or to the big dryers that we have in our grooming vans. So the best way to teach a puppy about noise is to use anything you have in your house, a water pick, uh, a hand mixer, a electric shaver, and even maybe your dryer, but I'm gonna put this on. It's just a Dremel and it's noisy. And I'm just gonna put this around the puppy and give her cream cheese. So she's not worried at all about the noise. And I'm gonna put it up near her head. She's a little worried, but she's not flipping out. And that's a good thing. I'm just gonna move it all around. So if you have one of your tools at home that you wanna make that noise with, it's a really helpful thing to get them used to the noise. You can use your hair dryer, but you don't wanna blow it on them just yet, particularly a puppy this young. Now Pablo, on the other hand, is used to it because he's been groomed before. And so he's used to having all this noise around his head. So anybody have any questions about that so far? What I've covered? No? It doesn't look like it so far. Okay. No. So once you've worked with your puppy like this, then we have a big puppy who's already been groomed a few times. So he actually, this is what happens when you do all that work in the beginning. You get a really nice puppy that will just sit on the table and let you do whatever you want with him. And even if he doesn't, we have cream cheese and Pablo is happy, happy about cream cheese. Right, buddy? And we always need to have their faces being held. That's such an important thing more than anything. Their faces have to be held when we groom them. And you at home also have to hold their faces when you want to make sure nothing is in their eyes or in their mouths. Okay, I think Jackie, I'm finished. Any I have questions? A, I have a quick question for you. So what if the dog is um, not really interested in getting on the table? Um, or keeps jumping off the table. So the home. best thing to do is to try to have a way to restrain them. So I'm restraining Roxy here on the grooming table. What you wanna do is have a harness on the puppy, put a leash on the puppy, and have that a hold of that when you're first introducing the puppy to a table or the washer and dryer. So start out with a harness and work very slowly to get them used to it. Just a few seconds and then put them down. So get them used to the table or the countertop first before starting. Okay, so what would be the progression then if the dog is on the table first? That's kind of the first step. Yes. And then would the second thing be getting used to holding the muzzle or would it be getting used to holding the paws? The, the next thing after getting them used to the table is to start with the brush right away. Um, start with the brush on the body, like with Pablo here, I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to start brushing his legs and as long as, and now he's struggling a little bit, but I'm not going to give him any cream cheese. So right after they're used to being on the table, I'm going to take a hold of his leg and brush and then give him some cream cheese so he knows that it's all a good positive thing. Once we brush the legs and the body and they're really comfortable with it, then we can move to holding the face. Because they're, they're going to be really apprehensive, like Roxy is being so young, about having her face held. So that's the next thing after the puppy is used to being brushed and the legs being handled like this and the ears and the mouth. All those things kind of go together once you hit the head. I mean, get to the head. And, and what about just being exposed to water? Um, is that an element that people should... So I would put off water for as long as you can, because water can really scare the, the bejeebers out of them. And the best thing to do, puppies shouldn't, dogs should not be bathed more than once a month, if that. 
I would say wait until the puppy is very, very solid on the table and very solid with grooming before ever introducing water. And then do water very, very slowly in the kitchen sink, in the utility sink, and just pour some water on. Sometimes it's been very confusing for some people. They feel like they have to force the bath issue, and that can be really, really detrimental. So you want to go real slow with the bath. So probably not for a couple months after the puppy's really used to being on the table and being handled. And then just practice in a sink and pour some water on them. Okay. And then speaking of water, um, we have a question from someone saying that um, one of their pups rolled in something in the yard the other day. And so they uh, needed to hose the dog off and he got a little nervous when she did that. Um, the water was pretty low, but... Um, is that something that you wouldn't recommend using a uh, yard hose to kind of- um, clear, It was clear probably your really super home? cold. I wouldn't probably, I would do it in the bathtub and just um, really, really dilute the shampoo. Um, but I think the garden hose is, would probably be a little bit scary because it being kind of cold and them not being able to restrain the puppy very well. Does that make and sense? I think so. And then, you know, also now that Ashburn has curbside bath services, yeah. um, we can definitely take a puppy or a dog right. that has had that situation pretty quickly. Um, right. You don't have to be alone in that kind of situation. Um, and then Jackie, another question about whether or not this could work for an older dog. So let's say you don't have a puppy, but maybe a three-year-old dog who, oh, yes. you know, has issues with going to the groomer. Um, yes, would, yes. would the process still be the same? Yes, absolutely. Many, many dogs who are three, four, five years old that didn't have a really good introduction and maybe had a rough few grooming experiences, the best way that puppy is going to do, the best way that dog's going to learn is to have their owners start helping them at home and um, having them get used to the whole process at home versus in the grooming, grooming truck. So yes, that any any age dog can learn the exact same way of what we're doing with the puppies. And then any dog that has, let's say specifically an aversion, I hear this a lot from dog owners that their dog has like an aversion to getting their nails clipped or trimmed. Is that something that then you would just work on that particular thing with the dog? Yes. The table? Yeah, so the best way is to use cream cheese as well, handle the, the dog's foot, uh, slowly, gradually working the dog up to you being able to put it, put a emery board or a piece of sandpaper on using cream cheese. I'm going to treat Pablo with cream cheese while I'm, I'm, I'm massaging his toes. So dogs that have the aversion to toenail clipping, you can do the exact same process. And then once, so Pablo's letting me hold his foot really, really well. So the next step would be to take a piece of sandpaper, uh, pretend this is sandpaper, I'm going to set it on his paw and he's not fussing with me, so I'm going to give him a lick of cream cheese. And it's also best to do this when they're up on something, but a big dog certainly on the floor is a good place. But when you teach them that, you want to be in a, a, their own little space, maybe the bathroom, uh, the laundry room, so that they're not distracted. And the sandpaper or emery board is what helps them get over the fear of having their nails touched. Okay, and Jackie, in terms of the learning sessions that you you want to do at home with your puppy, um, how often would you recommend doing this? Would it be something that you do once a day, a couple times a week, once a week, and then how long should the lessons be? Well, with a real young puppy like Roxy, who's very young, if you're home a couple times a day, not more than not more than a few minutes at a time. The older puppies like like Pablo here, maybe once or twice a week or three times a week, depending on what he's challenged with. The older dogs who are really challenged with their nails, I would do it a couple times a week, maybe once or twice a day, depending on how, but really you're only doing it for no more than five minutes, if that. Very short lessons. Okay, great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Sure. Jackie, and thank you. Any questions? Um, not right now, but if anyone has a question, um, please feel free to type it into the chat box. Jackie will be here as we keep going on and, and we can definitely throw a question to you. Okay. Um, so now with that, I would like to 
introduce Ellen Zangla, who is our partner for so many things um, and is a wonderful professional pet photographer. So Ellen, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make you the host because I believe you're going to share some photos with us um, and talk about, and actually if you could unmute yourself now. And then um, Ellen, you can talk a little bit more about the Watch Me Grow plan and what you've offered for this package as well. Yeah, perfect, thank you. I'm going to start my screen share. Okay. So, um, Just me. make you the host. Um, okay. Let me try that again. Um, here we go. Share. Okay. Can you can you see the Rocco up there? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, um, first of all, thank you for including me. I, you know, I love working with puppies. And Jackie, those tips were super helpful. So thank you for that. Thank you for oh, that sure. as well. So my dogs are going to love you when they find out that they're getting more treats. <laughs> Ooh, cream cheese. <laughs> so, um, so, um, so I basically kind of have two things or two offerings for puppies that are included with your pampered, uh, with the Whoopi's pampered puppy, puppy package. And so one of the things that I do is called a watch me grow plan. And I photograph a puppy or a kitten, but it's mostly, it's mostly dogs, puppies. Uh, over their first year of life, and it's to show uh, name, obviously. It's kind of to show how they grow. They grow quickly, as we can all see, uh, just kind of even week to week. I, I saw Pablo when he was, I don't know, maybe 10 weeks old, and oh my gosh, I can't believe how much bigger he's gotten. He looks like he's about twice the size. But it's kind of cool because we forget, we forget how tiny they are, and so just to be able to have those memories kind of captured, and it is three photo shoots over the course of basically their first year. And it is $595. It includes three sessions and a 10 by 20 three image collage that looks something like this, obviously with your dog and not Rocco though. Um, and uh, with the Pampered Puppy package, it also includes a free eight by 10, which is valued at $95. So. I think Michelle, you said the puppy package was seventy dollars. So if you do this, then it's a uh, it's basically covered. So um, and then you, if you're not interested in a um, the puppy um, the Watch Me Grow plan, you can do an individual session with me, kind of at any point in your well, any point honestly in your dog's life. But for this, it would be when he or she is a puppy, and that would um, also include a free eight by ten, and. Um, those sessions are $175 Monday through Thursday and $225 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm just going to show you, because really there's no such thing as too many cute puppies or too many cute puppy photos. So I just, I'm going to show you a, a couple of more. This is a, um, obviously a golden retriever puppy, uh, an English cream golden, um, Tibetan terrier puppy. He just, well, there was a treat, kind of like Jackie, I'm a big believer in kind of, especially with puppies, using treats to get puppies to do um, what I'm hoping they'll do. So uh, a treat got him up there. Um, uh, Rosie is a red bone coon hound mix. Quincy is a basset hound. I know, look at that face, right? <laughs> I have the best job ever. I do, I love what I do. You're adorable. Um, a little French bulldog puppy. Um, my girl Lola, uh, when she was a puppy. And this is one thing when I did the webinar uh, with uh, Whoopies a couple of weeks ago, I talked about one thing that can be kind of cool if you're photographing your own puppy is to photograph him or her with something that's important to you and that is an obvious frame of reference. So I did this shoot with Lola with the football um, several times, more than several actually over the, her first year. And it was astonishing to me. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe how big she's gotten. So um, this is Opie. He's a Cocker Spaniel Golden Mix. Um, Akira, and she's a rescue. They don't know what her mix is. Pearl, I, I think Pearl is a bed and biscuit client actually of Whoopies, and she is a Silver Lab. Um, you guys uh, should recognize this beautiful girl. 
Um, this was part of the Face of Whoopies contest, and she is a sheepadoodle. And this is Barley, and Barley's um, actually a, a rescue, and she comes from the same rescue where we adopted Lola. So a little, a little uh, puppy magic, hopefully, to make you smile. Um, okay, so um, do I need to do something to switch back? You can go ahead and make me the host again. Okay, give me a second yeah, um, to totally figure that fine. out. So stop share. And then is it, it's over by the little dots. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. How do I switch you back, Michelle? I'm sorry. I pulled um, the three dots down, but I don't see. You just click on my box. There are three little dots there. And then you drop down and you can see make. To make. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Thank you, Alan, so much. Thank you. So uh, I just want to reiterate again, um, this Pampered Puppy package and what it includes. So it's $70. And of course, this can be used for your puppy. Um, or it can also be used for someone you know, if you wanted to buy a gift for somebody, uh, for instance, that has a puppy, that's uh, something that you could definitely do. It includes a 30 minute in home or virtual concert consultation with a Woofie's puppy specialist. Um, that person will come to you or, you know, to you on Zoom um, to talk to you about things you can do at home to prepare for puppies first groom. We will give you an informational handout. We will give you um, a video that you can watch and refer to. Um, there will be a second follow-up appointment with that same Woofies puppy specialist. Um, and at your first consultation, if you'd like to go ahead and book your first groom, after that consultation, you can do that at that time. But it, we also are giving you a $10 um, gift certificate to, to, to go towards either a luxury bath, mini groom, or full groom service until your puppy is six months old. Uh, again, you get a free 8x10 photo of your puppy taken by Alan Zangla when booking a puppy session or Watch Me Grow plan. 10% off of puppy training services with Phil Lassiter, um, either in person or virtually. One free curbside nail trim the Woofie's Dog Food Scoop Slicker Brush, um, and all of those great things rolled into one package. So um, that's our new Pampered Puppy Plan, and we're very excited to roll it out to our clients, and um, we thank all of you guys for joining us today. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you can always email us at petservices at woofies.com. Um, we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, and that is it for today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Jackie, for joining us. Thank you for that great tutorial. Um, and Ellen, thank you as well. We appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.